Okay, so this is the message pump or USB to LCD interface. Over here, you have USB. You can either connect with a mini USB connector or you can get a mouse cable, cut it up and solder the wires right on there. Um, this could be convenient if you have it uh, deep inside a computer or a box. Uh, if you're just gonna run it uh, bare on your desk, you can just connect your mini USB connector right up there. Uh, over here is the FTDI chip. It's the 232R. It's the USB to serial UART. Um, this guy over here, when the USB signals come in, it feeds the PICT over here. Um, the PICT's job is to drive the LCD. It can either drive a 1 to 16 or 1 to 14 straight pin style LCD or a 2 by 7, a 14 pin LCD over here. Since it's a USB device, we have the option of either putting solder on jumper one. Um, that just makes this run constantly. But if you want to actually be compliant with uh, USB suspend, um, you can solder the components on, on this area. What they'll do is when the FTDI chip senses that the computer's gone into USB suspend, it turns off the pick, it turns off the displays, and it will turn off anything else that you have connected. What you might want to use is this sort of female connector. That way you can just put pins like this on your LCD and pull it on and off and connect it to other projects if you'd like. Or what you could do is solder these guys directly on to the PCB, but from the other side, and then solder your display onto the top of these. Other things on the board here, if your display has backlighting and you need to have uh, current limiting resistors, there are two places that you can stick resistors here. If you happen to have surface mount stuff, you can solder it right there. If you just want to use a regular discrete um, resistor, you can solder it right on there. Um, this little pod over here is used for a contrast adjustment want to get into to hacking you can populate these pins right here these are the programmer header for the picked if you want to turn this into a serial lcd display put the picked on forget about the ftdi and either pin one here this uh, via right there or that via right there you can have your serial input and uh, it'll work exactly the same um, another hack that you can work on is, over here is the resistors that you would need and your two pinouts for an I2C connector. And that's about it.